Hi, I'm sitting behind Ageratum Houstonianum, also known as the floss flower. It is part of the aster family and it is native to Central America and Mexico and is quite invasive where the frost doesn't kill it, therefore it's an annual here in Iowa. I think part of the reason it's invasive is because it produces a methoprene-like compound which causes insects to molt prematurely and develop adult structures prematurely, therefore the, the adults are sterile. Their size range from about these, which are maybe four inches wide uh, to, two, to two and a half feet wide and six inches tall to one and a half feet tall. Their flowers are purple and they're almost blue and they're born on coriums. And each flower is about a half inch around with the ray flowers being thread-like. Other cultivars can be pink, lavender, and white. The leaves are round to triangular. They're chordate at the base, about three quarters of an inch long, and slightly quilted. Short varieties are great for edgers or at the edge of beds in front of taller, taller plants. They're, the taller varieties are really good for more midway plantings in front of shrubs or, or taller plants. There are no serious problems, but powdery mildew and root rot do happen, so overhead watering is not recommended. They like to be planted in full sun with lots of circulation, but if it's a really sunny, hot, dry area, you might want to plant them in part shade. I think they're a great annual, and we always need a little more blue in the landscape, so I think they should be planted more than they are. I'm Tyler Harris. Thank you.